Thank you for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. Boy, I got a good one here for you today. I hope and pray it will be one that will answer a lot of questions for you guys. Okay, I really do. All right, so we're gonna go outside and I've got the camera set up, been already doing some testing and we're gonna do a complete new one today to show you guys the traditional bow hunters what the truth is about heavy arrows versus light arrows guys and there is a difference okay now the last video in case you didn't catch it please watch that video because it is very crucial all right i did one called the truth about arrows all right and it was shooting arrows from 10 grains per pound out of a 43 pound recurve which was a 430 grain arrow 433 actually all the way to a 6'8". And what we found was, at 30 yards, there was only a four inch drop. Okay, so you really were not giving up that much going to a heavier arrow, but some guys don't want any drop, and that's perfectly fine. However, the question was always, what is the trade-off? I mean, what is the real trade-off? Where do you draw the line on how heavy of an arrow you need to build to hunt with out of your traditional bow, guys? Okay. And all I'm trying to do is give you a 1,000% honest, honest test and show you what I have found the case is, all right? So, and guys, here's the deal. I've always loved heavy arrows, but I like a fast arrow too, right? Well, there is a trade-off. And hopefully this test today will show you what the deal really is, okay? Because what we're going to be shooting at, all right, all week I tested out of half inch plywood. Now half inch plywood is just next to impossible for a traditional bow of that poundage to shoot through, right? I mean, it really is. With a field tip. We're not doing a broadhead test today, we are doing field tip tests, okay? Because a field tip, it takes the blunt force and it is going to practically stop that arrow in motion, okay? now. We're gonna shoot these field tips through this, but what I found was after just a couple of shots, I actually was getting through that plywood. And I actually had a couple blow completely through it and never slowed down, okay? When the center area got a little bit soft because standard plywood is, is flaky, long flaky layers, okay? And it just breaks down quick. So we changed up. We went back and regrouped and got heavy impregnated solid birch half inch plywood. Okay, this is a very hard laminated plywood and I don't believe we're even gonna get any kind of pass through whatsoever, much less, not a pass through, but much less, uh, much of any penetration. Uh, the object is to just see if any of these arrows will actually even bust through something that hard, okay? At 20 and 30 yards. I'm gonna do a 20 yard and a 30 yard. The reason I'm gonna do 20 and 30, guys, is because lots of you say, well, Jeff, I don't shoot past 20 yards. That's my limit, and I wanna know what my arrows will do. And there again, we're not broadhead testing. A super sharp broadhead on a well-placed shot on a light arrow can kill deer. Yes, it can. But what if, what if, what if you hit bone? What if you hit shoulder? Okay, so a deer scapula is going to be pretty much about like this half inch plywood. Maybe maybe nowhere near as extreme, but let's just say it's sure not gonna be harder, uh, but if you can get through plywood, you can sure get through that, okay? So at 20 yards, that gives the shorter distance bow hunter uh, an honest representation of what he can expect on a field tipped arrow, heavy versus light. And then at 30 yards, which arrows really keep the momentum? What do you really give up? Do you give up any? I mean, really, is there any difference at all going to a heavy and slower arrow? Is there? Okay. Well, we're going to find out, guys. Let's go do it. Thank you guys for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. Okay, here we are today doing the arrow test. Okay, guys, there were so many uh, requests 
following up the last video on the truth about arrows. And if you didn't catch that video, please go back and watch it because you're gonna need to see it before you watch this one or at least watch it after, okay? Because it was a test of these arrows, various weighted hunting arrows for traditional bows showing how much you give up at 30 yards. Now you may not take a 30 yard shot and I'm not saying that, but I did the test at 30 yards to show just how much an arrow will drop at 30 yards going from a lightweight 10 grain per pound, 430 grain arrow, which is exactly 10 grains per pound out of a 43 pound bow. Okay, a bow that's drawing dead on 43 pounds. 10 grains per pound was the minimum that we started with, which was this shaft here, okay? And I've got it written on there. There's 430, it's written on there, okay? So, from it all the way to a 680 grain arrow, and I actually added a Luminox, so we're at 690 on this one, a super heavyweight arrow. So in that test, we only had a four inch drop, and that was shooting multiple rounds over and over, duplicating the shot as best as humanly possible, pretending they were the same arrows shooting the same exact shot process, not allowing anything, guys. It was a legit test, okay? I was happy with it because it did show me that yes, at 30 yards, you're gonna lose about four inches of trajectory going to a heavy arrow, which is not much. It's really not, especially if you're not planning on shooting over, say, 20 yards. Doesn't matter, shoot as heavy as you want to. Speed doesn't matter with a tread bow anyway. Okay, but what does matter is today's test. Okay, after that video aired, guys, I had so many requests, so many requests, wanting a penetration video. So, I started on it this week. Like I say, I've already had several plywood platforms set up, shooting through it. I already know what the results are, but I'm gonna show you guys with a fresh, untested medium, the Birch, okay? I wanna see, can one of these even get through it at all? I'm sure not expecting any pass-throughs, but I wanna see will they penetrate it all with a field tip, guys. So I'm gonna shoot this thing and I'm gonna put the camera up again right at this target where you can see the impact and you will be able to see what you give up trying to shoot a light arrow versus going to a heavy FOC shaft, okay? Real deal, guys.
All right. All right, guys, that, that pretty much tells it. Again, these are almost identical. I mean, they, they really are 630 to six, uh, I mean, uh, 430, 10 grains per pound, 11 grains per pound. They're almost equal. But if you will notice, the 560 grain Big Jim Dark Timber running 100 grain inserts and 175 grain tips, it beat them all. So you go light, heavier, heavier, heaviest. I'm telling you guys, there it is. 690 grain arrow is absolutely dominating. Dominating, okay? I mean, it is. There's, there's no two ways about it. So can you kill deer with these light arrows? Yeah, yeah, with a good, well-placed shot and all that and a good head, yes. Yes, you can, but why not have a little safety net? I mean, that's the way I look at it. Get, get some safety net going on for the what if. I mean, I'm thinking, guys, this is minimum. This is minimum what I would do. That 550, 560, that's, that's just a minimum for me. And I'm really liking... I'm liking that heavy era, and it flies great. Even out of this bow, this thing's flying great. The 450 is fine, but it's got 320 grains on the front, and God, this thing is smacking. So, all right, I'm gonna do as I said, guys, and I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot a broadhead. I'm gonna put a broadhead on each one of these and just see what it does. See if there's any difference, because that is real deal right there, guys. That's it. Twenty yard broadhead test. We're gonna see what a broadhead will do in this three quarter here. We're gonna try it and just see. See if we can even get it through this stuff. I doubt it, but we're gonna try it. Okay, 430 green arrow. I got about maybe half the broadhead in. Maybe, uh, maybe half the head. Okay. All right, let's go up to the uh, 469. guys identical no difference no difference in these two these two that are under 500 grains ah, they're just driving about half the head in that's all they're getting all right let's try big jim's arrow going up nearly 100 grains see what happens what I'm talking about guys bam there it is that's it that's it when you get over 500 grains you start seeing some effects okay you start seeing a major difference all right let's shoot this uh let's shoot this 680 right quick see what he does
Wow. <laughs> Look at this stuff, boy. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's it. That's it. All right. 680 grain air don't play. No, sir. Not at all. It don't. It don't play. No. Egg no. So, as you can see, guys, and it is raining. It's all right. Feels good. Feels good out here because it's been so hot. The two heavy eras dominated with broadheads, completely dominated, just like they do with field tips. Uh, Three-quarter plywood shots, 20 yards. There's, there's just really no, no comparison. You get over 500 grains, it shows. It really, really shows, guys. Okay, that's that test. Let's move on to the next. So there you have it guys, that's as much as I know to do with them. <laughs> what I have found, really, really, as for me, mid fives is going to be my minimum. It, it just is guys, mid 500s to me is going to be a minimum, alright? Now you can do what you want to do, of course. but what these two eras have shown me in their performance, I'm quite impressed in such an incredibly tough medium, okay? Now, I could have put anything else like the, uh, like the plywood, guys, and, and you'll, as you'll see, you'll see the pass-throughs on it. It just broke it down completely. Uh, and it also shows in that clip, and uh, I hope you'll notice in this, when I, when I show you this clip of the normal plywood, it was only on second round, too, that the two light arrows completely stopped. They got no penetration. Whereas these two exact arrows blew completely through it. Now, they they were shooting an area that had been shot a couple of times, but I had also overlaid it with another quarter inch on top of that that had never been shot. So it was three quarter inch plywood, but regular plywood is not as strong as what we're shooting today. Uh, it's just not. Uh, even the initial shots I got, every arrow was penetrating, oh, about this far to nothing. The light arrows, nothing. I had one bounce out, had a 350 grain arrow that I first tested, and it bounced completely out at 30 yards. It wouldn't even go in it. So that really got me thinking, guys. Okay, 350 is nowhere in the ballpark of enough to hunt with. It's just not, guys. I'm sorry, but it is not. So, mid fours to me is going to be the very minimum. It's going to be minimum to me, guys. And uh, I, I think you just have to stick with what makes sense. What makes sense? An ultralight arrow loses momentum when it hits anything. It's just not carrying anything. Whereas if you adjust your setup to shoot a little heavier arrow, especially if it's got decent FOC, most of the weight on the front, your penetration is gonna be great. Even like the 469 grain arrow that we shot, it overall performed well. Uh, it, it did, it was well, very well. I was impressed actually over a 430. I really was in a lots of cases. And then there were other shots where they were almost even, where there was very little difference in them, uh, especially at 20 yards. Now guys, notice this, 20 yards and 30 yards, we had great different results. Okay, we did. 20 yards, 
you can get by with a little bit less but if it's past that it's really critical it is really really critical guys so that's my take on it it is that is my take on the heavy versus light arrows guys i'm gonna show you something i'm gonna show you something cool you see this old arrow? As you can tell, this arrow shot through a deer, right? <laughs> I saved this thing and it's intact. I shot a doe several years ago. I shot a doe at 15, maybe 16 yards. Okay? And I waited for this deer to step out behind a tree. And when she did, she looked away and I came to full draw and all I had was every bit of her shoulders. Basically, the crease was about even with the tree, a little past it. I had a really good all the way, both of the shoulders, okay? And she was about to run, okay? She was about to turn. She was already looking for her escape route, okay? Because she knew something was up. And I drew back and I shot that deer with this arrow. It never slowed down. I took a shoulder shot. Wasn't in the front of the shoulders. It was dead middle of the shoulder. Dead middle just from the pocket. This arrow did not slow down. It honest to goodness shot through the deer, laid on the ground, luminoc was shining, laying there intact. She runs off, crashes. More deer come, walk up and start sniffing this bloody arrow, okay? It's laying on the ground, bloody. This is a 530 grain arrow. I shot that deer with a bear K-Mag, a Kodiak Magnum, a 50 pound Kodiak Magnum that I had. And I shot the deer with this arrow, 530 grain arrow. And this big old grizzly head, this 200 grain grizzly head with a 100 grain brass insert, single bevel, it blasted through that deer like a knife. I mean, you, you can just tell the design of this thing. And, and it's still actually sharp, guys. This thing is, I mean, it will actually still hang my nail. It has still got an edge, okay? Incredible. I mean, it, it didn't even slow down, okay? I promise you guys, it just like zipped right through this deer. Like unbelievable. I, I I just that's why I kept this arrow intact. I didn't fool with it. I was just I was so happy with it. it. You know, it was a great test arrow. Okay, it proved a theory to me. That's when I really bought in to being a believer in heavy front of center arrows, an arrow over five hundred grains for a traditional setup. It, it's a fact, guys. It is a fact. It proved it to me. If anything proved it to me that if I can tune an arrow, the 300 grains on the front of it, most of my shots are never over 20 yards anyway. And it goes right along with all the testing that we've done. They just perform better when it counts in case you hit something. And, and I honestly prefer to be over 600 grains. I really do. But I stuck with these all these years. I have. Now, if you go back and watch the video where we talked about the big deer that I killed last year, 32 yard shot, 480 grain arrow. Yes, I got a complete pass through. Gold tip Hunter XT, Simmons Swamp Shark, and uh, 50 grain insert. And so that was 240 grains on the front. 190 grain head, 50 grain insert. Uh, 240 grains on the front of that gold tip. Total air weight was only 480 grains with luminoc and all out of a 49 pound boat. I was really pushing the men on these guys. I wanted to hunt with it because I was in late season thinking I might have to take a longer shot. And yes, I did. 32 yards is what I had to take it, but a buck of a lifetime, guys. I had to take that shot at him. Couldn't pass it. I had the perfect opportunity and it happened, but I did not have resistance. I didn't shoulder shoot him. I didn't have any of that stuff happen, guys. None of the what ifs. So, would I count on doing that again? No. No, I wouldn't. I pulled it off. It worked. I was successful. But after really rethinking things, 
I'm not going that light. I'm not gonna do the 10 grain per pound thing in any of my bows. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not taking that chance, guys. Especially after these tests that we've done on penetration. After this, I'm a believer, guys. I am. Absolute believer. I have tested this stuff, I've tried it. Um, I'm not a know-it-all guy, I'm a tester. I'm a guy that's real life, gets out there and, and sees what works and what does not work, okay? And I will tell you firsthand, guys, that over 500 grains is the way to go. I just don't feel like you should back up much more than that. However, with that being said, the perfect shot you can get by, just like I did last year when I shot the big deer with a 480 grain gold tip Hunter XT, 480 grain arrow. Total weight, that was it. Total absolute weight arrow, that was it. I was pulling 49 pounds out of a recurve, okay? 10 grains per pound max is all I shot at, 32 yards with a big old Simmons Swamp Shark. And I got a complete pass through on that deer, complete. Guys, I mean, absolute complete. I saved the old shaft for a long, long time over there. And it was, it was incredible. I mean, I got a pass through. However, I got him right in the pocket. There was no, I didn't get any rib. I didn't get any, anything. I got a pass through on a big body deer. Okay. But had I hit shoulder, I, I probably wouldn't have gotten very much at all at that distance. I would have, I probably would have lost that deer, been heartbroken. But I had a very good shot, standing still, had no idea I was in the world, full rut, not paying attention, and I took that shot. I could not let the deer walk, and thank God I made the shot. It was all the Lord's help. I, I made the shot happen, okay? But with all that being said, I don't like shooting 30 yards at any deer. I don't. Too many chances for them to move. Too many things can happen. And even at 15 yards, a deer can duck, it can move, it can do a lot of things, and you might hit something that you didn't plan on hitting. And that's where you need the weight, guys. You need something that's gonna drive. So I say get out there with your bow, play with it, test some heavier air, see what you can accept for your trajectory, what you're happy enough with, but in exchange, knowing that you're gonna get all your bow can possibly do as far as penetration goes, that you're not giving up anything in that, that arena. It's all about penetration, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button and uh, hit the like button. That, that helps a little bit too, but make sure you subscribe because I've got a lot of videos coming your way and I uh, don't want you to miss them. So guys, uh, thank you again for joining me today. I pray that God bless you and pray that you uh, have a wonderful week and get out there and have some fun. Do some testing. Get out there and play with your equipment and just see. If you have questions, comments, send me your comments and your questions. Hey, it's real. It's real life testing. It is what it is. And I will do anything I can to answer any questions, guys. There's nothing hidden whatsoever in these tests. It's real life. as true as I know how to do them, guys. It's simple. I like things simple. And I like to see what works and what does not work. So thanks again for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. Till next time, goodbye.